Hello everybody and welcome back to some modded Isaac. I'm doing something different today because, I don't know, I want to, I want to mix things up a little bit, I want to try some new things, and people have been asking me to play the Epiphany mod for ages. Typically, it's not a mod that I play, but I've been watching Hutz play with the new Lost character and it seems pretty fun. So I think we're going to try and get a run going as this Lost character and see how we do. Also, you'll probably have noticed I've changed my thumbnail style a little bit, and we're also using a new visual overhaul hall mod there's this massive mod that's come out there's essentially just a collaboration of tons of different visual mods a lot of which i already used plus additional things the great thing about it is with it all being in one mod rather than multiple different mods it'll massively reduce lag so hopefully uh, other people can use it and get some good use out of it but anyways we're using that so we'll see some new things but anyways let's jump in and we're going to play as this lost character i'm pretty interested in how they work so let's jump in um from what i've seen i don't know everything about the character from what i've seen basically we've got this divine remnants in the bottom and that is our holy mantle while it's charged we have a holy mantle but we can also use it to upgrade items to higher tiers um and each time we use it we can upgrade the quality of divine remnants it's it's interesting um i'm very intrigued by it also i really like the sprite work for this but yeah as you can see we got some new re-sprites for some of the enemies in here some of them will be different but as i said it's an all-encompassing pack i can change things out for things that i used to have and stuff but we'll keep it as it is right now so for example we've got burner baby here um we are going to mom's pearl Mum's spell doesn't really matter for us. So if we use Divine Remnants here, we get Sulfuric Acid. Yeah, I'll take that. So now we don't have a Holy Mantle. Interesting. But we do have this now, which is very, very nice for us. Very, very nice for us indeed. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm very intrigued by uh, by this character. And I think it's one of the, one of the better characters in... Um, Epiphany. There's a few of them that I'm not like super intrigued by. Uh, so I, there's, there's some that I might not play as much, but there is others that I'll, I'll try and play a bit more. Uh, either way, I'm going to try and uh, try and have a good time with this guy, and hope you guys enjoy as well. But yeah, I just want to kind of mix things up for Isaac a little bit. We are on a we are playing on a, a completed save file with everything unlocked as well. Um, I think that's kind of the best way for us to play the game right now. You can see new key sprites and stuff. I'm trying to look for secret rooms where I can with our, uh, our acid tears. It's going to be a little weird getting used to some of the uh, visual changes to some of the enemies here. There's our secret room. Lovely. Oh, we've got an animated guy there, although he seems to be having some issues with staying alive. <laughs> staying in place. I'm not quite sure what that's caused by. Uh, we'll, we'll have a look into that in the files and see if I can fix that. There'll be a few things that'll be a bit different, um, and I'll see if I can fix them. Basically, what I did, something that I maybe shouldn't have done, is I just copied and pasted my folder of my resprite files into this one, um, and then just didn't copy and replace anything. So basically, any of my files in my in my resprite mod that aren't in this one got updated to this one. Okay, so we've got a holy mantle back at this point. Interesting item here. Creates a portal leading to the room, uh, to the treasure room or planetarium. If room has not been visited, re-rolls the item into a planetarium item. Whoa. That seems rather interesting. That seems rather interesting. So basically, we can turn all of our item rooms into planetarium items. Which seems kind of wild. Kind of wild. But yes, yeah, so I don't exactly know how I, how I level up my remnants, really. Um... I think I've just got to use it in a regular room. So if I do if I do this, yeah, it, that, that levels it up. Oh, but I can't take the battery charge? Oh. I thought I'd be able to pick up this battery charge. It's a bit weird that I can't. Okay, that's 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 a little unfortunate, because I was hoping to be able to have a, a um, holy mantle for the boss here, but I guess that is a privilege that we, do, we have not earned. Um, and I think we'll get four pips on our charge bar from the boss here, from what I know. If I don't die, that is, uh, which eh, I don't know how I don't know how plausible not dying on this guy is. Uh, we do have higher damage and stuff. We are kind of tinted, lost stats esque right now. Right, take care of these bad boys. Yes, yeah, so we almost get a full charge. It's a little annoying because we uh, we don't get enough to charge this. Hmm. 
Yeah, I'll, I'll keep I'll keep going on this run for now. Um, we might end up obviously dying and doing a, a redo on this run anyways. So yeah, using Divine Remnants in a room is what's going to upgrade it. Upgrading is great because it means that we can get higher quality items, but it means that it takes longer for us to charge it. So it can be a bit difficult. So we are up to full charge now there. Good, good. Calm down, you. Oh my lord, I kind of forgot that we had sulfuric tears for a second there. I was trying to sit over the top of those. Can you just chill with the spiders, bro? I mean, we do have a holy mantle right now. Obviously, that drink gets worthless to us. We do have a holy mantle right now, so we are reasonably safe how we are. Dude, this guy needs to stop with the spiders, man. I think I just need to focus on killing him, so otherwise he's just going to keep spewing spiders at us. We've got a pill. I'll pop a pill. It's a tears down. Kind of depressed that I did that now. We've got a bomb there as well. Yeah, so let's pop that Divine Remnants again. Okay, so that now it's up to the max level, I believe. Obviously, at the minute, it puts us in a rough spot because we're now uh, at the whim of, yeah, <laughs> that. Okay, we're probably going to get a few deaths here, but I think it's worth it to try sort of learn this character. So let's, let's pop Divine Remnants right away, straight off the bat. I think that's going to be a good way to, to sort of open a run up. Um... And I've heard there's a good way to get an instant, from, from the Hutz videos, a good way to get an instant level 3. So we'll, we'll see if we can do that. Always weird that you can still pick up hearts as the lost, even though they don't do anything for you. Um, I, I'm going to just see if I can bring this guy over here and maybe get a secret room. I don't know if I can. Could, why, why does the spider have, like, absolutely zero interest in me most of the time? Can you, can you fucking get over here? <laughs> Okay, well, that, I don't even know if that would have hit it anyways, but we got a bit unlucky there. But yeah, so there, there may be a few graphical glitches here and there that I need to sort of solve, but they'll be easy enough for me to sort out. Well, that was nice of you. That was nice. It's a bit annoying to get uh, to lose that sulfuric acid tears because they were uh, potentially doing a good job, but I kind of just forgot that other enemy had spectral tears, to be honest. That's why I died. Um, also, as well, something that's rather nice. Uh, one of the big reasons I hadn't played Epiphany mod in a while is just because this mod was reasonably laggy when playing with my mod setup. And it it's definitely not, like, zero lag, but it seems a lot less than it once was when, now that we're using Repentagon. So, that's really good, at least. So, we've now got our Divine Remnants up to, um, up to the maximum rank. So, basically, what I've heard you do... These guys look really good. What I've heard that you do is you come in here... You fight the boss, and right before it dies, you pop your Divine Remnants. Like, literally, just before it dies. That's if we can manage to not get hit, which, honestly, I'm not super enthused about how that's going to go right now with the, uh, with this boss. Oh, dude, dips, just die. Also, stop spawning other enemies. That didn't hit you. It was so close to you, my guy. We're taking a sweet, sweet time with this guy right now. Okay. He's going to spawn stuff now. And he's spawning the little tail boy as well. This guy's not too bad, especially in the second phase. He's mostly okay. It's just the spawning of enemies that I don't like. He can, like, bring in enemies from off screen, which always wigs me out. Or, like, like he just did that. We got him, we got him, we got him. Yeah, we got him. So we do that, and then there you go. We get a level three. So now we're up to level three. So now we can go back, and we can take a look at re-rolling our item, and get a really, really high tier item out of it. I think if it was on max, we get a level three or four item on our re-roll. So getting, getting our Divine Remnants up to max rank is super useful, but it does create a risk in that, as I said, um... Now we have to charge it up even higher to get our uh, holy mantle back. So it's it's a it's a huge risk. This character is very interesting with the risk reward play. A lot, a lot of keys for us at the moment. Um, honestly, obviously, I'm just gonna take that. Um, I don't think we get much for bombing this, but I'll give it a go. Oh no, we got bombing a key. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, like I said, just gonna take Anima Solar. Don't want to bother re-rolling that very decent item for us right now. Um, and let's let's move it along. Let's move it along. See, oh, didn't mean to spend that penny. Oops. Let's go to the next floor. Yeah, Anima Solar might be kind of great for us here. Um, we might be able to do quite a lot with it. But I, th I think this is max rank of Divine Remnants. It might, it might have one more rank. In fact, 
I, that might have been a complete waste, and I might die because of that, but I thought I'd give it a go. If we can get some sort of battery item to make uh, Anima Solar more, uh, like, more usable, it's going to be good. Good, good. Let's try and use it on the big enemies, obviously. It's not always plausible to focus down the right enemy here. Oh my lord, this room is very, very bad for us. This is an insane amount of spiders and stuff. Anything that shoots needs to go very early on. I like the way these flies look. Trying my best to keep my distance. I don't have a holy mantle right now, so... It is kind of a bit of a war right now. But yeah, I just want to make sure that this is the last level of it. The, the jumpity hopper boys, really, you're going to lock down the fly that I can't even fucking kill. Thanks, Anima Solo, that's exactly what I was looking to do. Not the jumping enemy that can easily kill me. Right, we're through. Okay, so it didn't level up anymore by the looks of it. And this is an item that I will upgrade. We get quints. Unfortunately, it didn't actually upgrade the quality there, I don't think. I think it stayed at quality too. So yeah, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure how best to use this. It's going to be a little bit of an iffy one, um, I'm sure, but... We're going to be playing without Holy Mantle a lot here, by the looks of things. Okay, Quince is going to be pretty good for dealing damage early on here. But yeah, anything that can improve our ability to charge is going to be really, really good. Actually, lock down an enemy that's going to just disappear anyways here. Okay. Cool. Kind of like the way the keys look. It's different, but it's interesting. Go, Anima Solar. Are you a wizard? Okay, I'm actually going to have to just wait until this is over. There's no way I'm doing a room with no holy mantle where I can't shoot straight. I'm just going to have to do a bit of a bit of wandering around. I'll go to the shop, why not, while, while we're doing this. Compass is kind of good. I'm just going to buy a card, though. Empress is good for the boss. We'll take that. Come on, are you a wizard? Please end. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what max tier Divine Remnants looks like. I don't remember. Okay, we're back to normal. We're back to normal. Good, good. Right, boss time. Uh, actually, no, let, let's try and get a charge first before we do the boss. I don't know if we'll be able to, but we'll try. So we can do the Divine Remnants trick once again. I think it's only got three levels from what I know. Oh, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to here. Unless we can somehow do our Chaos Room, but I don't think we can. Darn tootin'. Darn tootin'. Okay. Let's go ahead and fight the boss. Let's kill the little dude first and then lock him down. Yeah, I'm having some issues with certain enemies blinking. Certain things in, in the game blinking. We'll have to look into that. Nice and easy on that guy. Really? You're gonna give me HP again? Oh, I got my four charges, actually. Tears leave oil, um, walking over the creep will ignite it. Sulfur. I guess we'll take that. I could have upgraded them, but I was reasonably happy with that. Tears up, I like that. Okay, so the next floor. Just gotta be careful of those fires if I don't get mixed up with enemies' fires, otherwise it's gonna be pretty difficult. But as for um as for the question of the day today, um let's let's think of a good one. What's what's another roguelike you'd really like to see me play? Ooh, that's a very, very bad hit there. Wasn't expecting that at all. Don't know why I wasn't expecting it, but I really wasn't. Do our tears have slowing on them as well? It seems like they had slowing on them there. Don't know why. I don't know how I survived that then. I just kind of stood there and let that happen. I don't know how I even survived that, but there you go. Apparently we're making it out alive. But yeah, I think, I think this is max level Divine Remnants here. The f Honestly, these fires are kind of great. It's a little tricky to utilize because you've got to walk over it. 
But yeah, they do, it does slow. Okay, the creep does slow. Nice. Pop in here. Cracked orb, taking damage instantly. Not an item we can bother taking, so a bit of a shame on that one. There you go. You can kind of set up little traps. Okay, these go over rocks, so let's be a little careful about this. Looking for small rock if we can get it. I mean, getting a bomb back is just as good. But yeah, so we definitely want to go and re-roll that. But yeah, it seems like we're gonna be end up playing a lot of this, a lot of this game without um, playing a lot of this game without the ability to have our uh, holy mantle around, which seems risky, but the only real way to play. Um, taking damage. Oh, okay. Again, taking damage immediately writes it off as something we can use. There you go. Do that look and set the fires. And then it just kind of spreads. Does damage everywhere. We're three rooms off of a charge here. See, like, that, that, that fire there was an enemy's fire. We were really careful because... The enemy's fires are slightly more orange, but still kind of hard to, kind of easy to miss. All right, so there's our boss. Okay, good, good. Right, so now we've got a decent level of Iron so I don't know if there's like a good way to actually check what level it is. One second. Yeah, it says it only has three levels on the uh, on the actual page, so I believe this is a max rank Divine Remnants, but I'm not entirely sure. Right, reroll that. Eden's Blessing, pretty good. Although I do, I do believe Eden's Blessing doesn't actually work for me for some reason, but that might have changed, I don't know. But yeah, you can see now our level goes down once we've used it at max rank. But now we've got to obviously defeat the boss, which is going to be tricky without any uh, assistance there. Luckily, the fires are just going to kind of keep going here and do some good damage. Yeah, against the stationary boss, this was very, very strong. We get perfection, lovely, and then obviously we were pretty happy with that as well. We can keep on going down. But yeah, it's good that the boss gives you so much charge. But yeah, this fire rate's very, very nice, especially the blood clot. Good amount of extra damage for us here. Yeah, I'm, I'm really liking this character so far. It's going to be a little, probably a little while before I beat it. An another thing I'd like to ask as well, would you guys like me to play multiple runs as this character in a row to see if I can beat it? Or would you still like to have some variety and see some other characters in between? Because I know, like, Hutz has just kind of sort of, sort of been grinding on this one character. Would people like to see me do, do something similar and try and beat out this character? Or would you guys just prefer to ha play as we normally do and just mix it in amongst the other characters? I'm happy to do either, really. I do like lost characters though. They are they are usually my favourite, so if I can get some tips off you guys and, and play well, hopefully we can have a good time. Yeah. Okay. Careful that rock there. Okay, Divine Remnants one room off off charging. Ooh, these guys look kind of ace. Slowing down is very, very nice. Right, there you go. Now we've got it charged again, but it's not max rank at the minute, I don't think. So what I could do is I could pop it now to get an upgrade on it. Toy drum's very good, we'll take that. Locking you down is pretty important. Honestly, locking them down plus the fires is so good here. If we can set off the fire and lock them down... Yeah, you go, like, set the fires, and then they just keep spreading. And it does really, really good damage for the entire duration of them being locked down. It's actually a really, really good wombo combo we've got going on right now. Don't think that's going to really help us too much, considering we've got plus 10 luck already. Okay, locking that guy down was actually not a bad idea there. Ooh, Cracked Crown. What's our stats go up to, a Cracked Crown? Doesn't give us a whole hell of a lot, but we've got nothing right, right now that is affected by luck, so I think I'm better off with Cracked Crown. It's 
still just keys out the wazoo right now. And keys galore. Oh, what the fuck? I cannot believe that hit me. I felt like I was so far away. Uh, Seraphim's pretty decent here. Interesting respite for Seraphim as well there. I like the baby respites, they're pretty cool. But Seraphim's pretty decent here. Lock him down, set him on fire. Good, good. It's going to be a while till we get a charge again now, which is not ideal. But luckily we didn't have to actually re-roll our, uh, our item room here, so that makes things easier for us. I like the fact that it slows down their tears as well here. That's really nice. Uh, we do have enough for a shop item. Let's take a little look-see. Um, yeah, I mean, if we can find secret room, that'd be pretty nice. Let's see if we can find secret room. Um, I'm guessing it'll be back this way somewhere. It seems pretty obvious to me where it is, actually, but I just need to sort of suss it out. There you go. A trap door as well. Interesting. We like a trap door. It's unfortunately a trap door that's basically not worth navigating. <laughs> One bomb isn't exactly uh, the best of the best. Right, let's go and grab our mysterious box. I mean, I'd be happy enough with Lump of Coal out of the mysterious gift, but obviously getting something a little better would be nice. I'm trying to think what would be really good, like Mega Mush. <laughs> that'd be pretty safe for us. Uh, that'd be pretty nice. But I doubt we're going to get something quite as good as that. Item box. Grants the effect of four random items for the current room. That seems kind of interesting. Unfortunately, I don't think it's any better than uh, Anima Solar. I probably shouldn't have picked it up, actually, but until I got Anima Solar, because then I could have potentially re-rolled it in there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use it for a room, though, and see how it does. Okay. No, it's, it's bad. It's, it's terrible. Um, the fact that it makes you do an animation for every item... I don't know what the fuck's going on with my player sprite right now. Uh, the fact that it makes you do an animation for every item, unfortunately, that 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 makes it very, very, very hard for me to actually want to use because that did that just disabled me for like three seconds in the room there. That's that's way too long for me to not be able to fire. Way, way too long. Yeah, these guys can uh, definitely get locked down, please, before they start running amok. Cool. Heals for one heart if Isaac isn't full health is... Okay. Interesting. Unfortunately, the fire's not quite touching him here because I'm knocking him back enough. But, pretty quick kill. We got a really good situation for killing bosses right now. Um, what we got here? Backstabbers, obviously, really good. We got little Guppy here. It's interesting. Guppy plushy familiar that walks around the room and blocks enemy shots, attempting to avoid Isaac. Increased tears depending on distance from Isaac as well as uh, from each enemy near it. Dies after taking off damage, granting tears for the rest of the room, and respawns on the next floor. But backstabbers just too good not to take though. Um, and let's try this. Yes, that was pretty That was pretty worthwhile, I think. Also, it re-rolled a key. Did not know that it re-rolled that sort of stuff. Good to know. Good to know. These guys can be an absolute pain because of their split shot. Got a bunch of the blood here. Okay, that guy, I probably shouldn't have uh, used my thingy on there. Okay, these guys spew enemies and tears, so pretty rough. Luckily, an easy kill for us. I'm pretty happy with our, with our current run setup right now. Ooh, these guys got a resprite. So, there's some resprites of modded enemies. That's that's pretty cool. I didn't realize that there was uh, many mods that did that. I'm, I'm intrigued to see that, definitely. I'm definitely intrigued to see that. Oh, no, I didn't even see that tear coming. Okay, well, let's give it one more run back and try it out. One more go. We're on an XL floor here. Oh, I feel so weak. It's good that you start with a charge Divine Remnants. It'd be uh, pretty rough if you didn't. Good. 
Oh, we got different uh, spike block sprites. I'm not, I'm not sure I'm a fan of those, but it's all right. Oh, we got Tough of Snails. Okay, Eden's Blessing did work. But for a long while, Eden's Blessing just hasn't been working for me for some reason, but apparently it worked this time. I'm very happy about that. Okay, this room could be rough. These guys do a lot of, like, fire spewing and stuff, which is uh, very dangerous. Luckily, they've actually kind of segmented themselves off from me. A tattered page there as well for a mum stocking. Okay, so let's let's pop this here. Probably should have done it earlier so we had the double rooms to charge her up. I, I didn't even see what item I got from my uh, my tattered page, to be honest. I wasn't looking. Get out of here, you fire-spewing little fuck. We got another double room here to charge her up. Just careful of the fire boys. Fire's always... Big rooms with fire enemies is always going to be the laggiest rooms. So we are noticing a little bit frame drops here, but nothing crazy. Like I said, um, Repentagon does a very, very good job at mitigating lag. One of the big reasons, that, like I said, I didn't really used to use this mod very much, but seems to be, have been mostly fixed. Uh, let's, just, let's go do one other room first here. Bad room. Bad room. This is a super easy room for me to get hit in because these guys have... A lot of RNG into in their range and shot speed and stuff. Which is never a never a fan favourite. Okay. Now what we got in here. Dogtooth, I think, is pretty goddamn good. Speed and damage is something I will not tear my nose apart, and being able to find secret rooms more easily is very, very nice whenever we get the bombs to uh actually get them opened up. We do also have uh, Tough as Nails, so we can go into any cash rooms that we actually find this run, which is really nice. Right, calm yourself down. Calm yourself down. Also, yeah, just a bit of damage is uh, really, really nice to tip the scales a little bit early on. This is an Excel floor as well, I kind of forgot about that, so we do get um, a lovely second item room. Let's see what we've got going on. It's not super useful right now, but it could be useful in the future. So, ooh, we got a crawl space in that room, apparently. Secret room in there. No bombs. No bombs. Hopefully Tough as Nails can, can like, save us out on occasion as well. That'd be rather a rather nice addition to this run. Right, so remember to use Divine Remnants right, uh, right before we kill the boss. Get that fly out of the way. Not a particularly hard boss here, but there is a bit of randomness, so... Uh, rogue Tears can kind of fly and hit us. We shall see how that goes. We shall see how that goes. Good, good, good. Did I do it in time? Yes, I did. Good, good, good. Okay, I got up to my, my last tier there. Uh, very good item there. Good, good. And little horn, honestly. Let's get rid of this fire first before it causes problems. He's not going to be too bad. He's only going to be a problem when he throws his little balls. Remember when this guy used to just kill himself with his own troll bombs for, like, most of the game's life cycle? That was pretty hilarious. Yeah, these, these balls are the only thing that can really trip me up because the knockback on them can be a little funky sometimes. But otherwise, this guy's pretty, pretty easy. Good, good. And we have Fishhook. Another really, really good item for us here. Our fire rate is very, very nice. And then we will definitely take Guppy and Bad Apple. Tears, 8% chance. Um, uh, no, we'll, we'll reroll that. And we get the Beast of Prophecy. When um, on half a heart or less, gain damage. Does that work for us right now? Yeah, we get a, a bunch of damage and fire rate, and we get a triple shot. Okay, this is pretty awesome. We also look kind of gnarly right now. Okay, this is a good run. I'm a little scared of the fact that we no longer have Eye Mind Remnants. I'm probably going to try and save that next time, because this is a really good run. This item seems really, really good for the Lost. It's like better triple shot. 
don't know what that enemy was. And yeah, we've got we've now got our uh, sucker thing working because we've got poison flies. So our flies will create poison farts whenever they hit enemies, which is going to be really really nice. Spawn ten burn orbitals. That could save us. That could save us. We can also get into the uh, the cash room here. So we should probably go do that. Should probably go do that. Okay, that's kind of tricky because it doesn't actually visually look like I've got it activated. I do not like that. Okay, I can hear the noise though, at least. I can hear the noise, but that is a bit scary. I know I didn't need to do it on the way in, by the way. It's just kind of force of habit because it's like... I don't want to get out of the habit of doing that sort of thing. This is a, a very, very good run right now. In fact, so good that I might be tempted to just not use my Divine Remnants anymore for rerolling unless the item is truly awful. Because, like, this is such a good setup to start with. Decent room, but I want to get my Divine Remnants ready first. Good, good. Okay, we now have a charge. We now have a charge. Beautiful stuff. Let's go back into this room and uh, see what's what. Good trinket there. Good trinket. Oh, it's actually, it's upon picking up a red heart, so I don't even know if that'll work. I don't know how that'd work with this character. I don't think it will. But yeah, this, this Mark of the Beast, whatever it's called, very, very good. Very, very good. Let's try and look for our shop now. We got a secret room in here, apparently. I imagine... Okay, let me just check, because it could be over here as well. No, it's not. Okay, so it's definitely above from this. Are you kidding me? Okay, it's here. Little annoying, that. Little annoying. Ooh, booster box is very, very good. A bit scary. Because it's random card effects, but overall, very, very good. Yeah, that's that's one of the reasons it's a bit scary. Teleportation cards, especially into bosses and stuff. Not what you really want to see. Okay, this guy... This guy isn't too bad, but he's got a few moves that I don't like. Luckily, he's dead. Some fire rate right there, very, very nice. A lot of fire rate, actually. Wasn't expecting to see you. Lump of coal, please. Lovely stuff. Right, we can head our way back now. We didn't actually get to see our item room or anything that time. But yeah, devil card, stuff like that. There's, there's some really good stuff it can do. It can just be a little inconvenient on occasion. But it can't, like, teleport you out of a boss fight and stuff. So that's good. Purple fires there. Do not want to trifle with those bad boys. And in here, we've got Aquarius, which is decent enough. We'll take Aquarius. And then in here... Ooh, we've got the turn down, which is kind of nice. But I think PhD is going to be the better one of the two there. And Drowsy is useful for our next boss. Right, away we go. This is a very, very decent run so far. Nothing that we've needed to reroll desperately so far either, which is very good. Uh, oh, we got a secret room in here. Kind of obvious, to be honest, but thank you for telling me regardless. Ah, uh, it's just hearts. Okay, yeah, I can't get money out of my trinket from picking up hearts. It just doesn't work. I thought that would be the case, but obviously I had to fact find and test that out. Test that theory. Okay. Little bit of an annoying room here. Mainly because of these geezers. I'm really liking having these burn orbitals about. Can you, like, pop your head up at any goddamn point, please? Thank you. Thank you, guy. Thank you. I'm gonna pop I'm Drowsy in here. More fire rate seems good. Unfortunately, we didn't... We were hitting fire rate cap, I think, so we didn't get much out of that, but... It was something.
Good old Carrion Queen. Unfortunately, we do not have bombs to make Carrion Queen easier. Just be careful of the red poops. That's my main point of contention on this boss. But there you go. Didn't didn't even get, give it a chance. I'm glad I had that. I'm drowsy. But yeah, we are at fire rate cap now. At least I think we are. We only got 0 0.06 off of the back of that, and that item normally gives you quite a lot, so I'm going to assume. The tower. <laughs> Another card that's uh, a bit ooky spooky. Ooh, are these? I don't know what these are. They, they might be new enemies. I'm not sure. Um, we've got a crawl space in here somewhere, but we don't know where, so I'm not going to bother bombing everything to find out. God damn, this is a good run, baby. God damn, this is a good run. I really like booster boxes and item. It's just a lot of fun. Got secret room. Got a water bottle there. Ooh, this is very good. Is it luck based? I can't remember. Luck affected chance, yeah, it's a luck affected chance, which makes it a little worse, but it's still not bad. We got a chariot here just in case as well. The sticky situations. Well, that was mighty easy. If only we could hold both. I'm just, I'm just going to hold the one though. I think I think this is going to be pretty good for us. Uh, we don't have any luck affected other things, do we? Right down we go. A little bit of damage there, rather nice. Like, we've just just not had any reason to re-roll anything at the moment, so we're in a, we're sitting pretty at the moment. Oh, I think all of our blue, um, all of our blue Aquarius bits are from our trinket. So when we, when we see that blue Aquarius bit, that means we're, uh, gonna have herming on it. Yeah, yeah, there you go, look at it, it hermed. Got a few hands trying to throw down with us here. Thank the fucking lord I have this, right... God damn, I didn't know it could proc the, the modded cards there, and uh, that one specifically, pretty spicy. Pretty spicy. Isn't the one that can deal damage to me too? They, some of these might need to be excluded, because uh, <laughs> that's kind of rude. Thank God I have uh, a way of getting out of that, otherwise that would have been annoying. I mean, I had a chariot card on me as well, so all was not lost, but that was still uh, not the situation you want to be seeing. I like the fact that it gives us some Herming Aquarius creep. It's rather nice. Having Herming Aquarius makes it pretty strong. Yeah, most rooms we're getting through pretty quick here. Um, yeah, definitely to sort out after this run, I'll sort out my mod to like. I'll probably just reinstall it fresh because I'm having some issues with beggars and stuff, and it's not ideal. Another hero font there. Not that we need the hearts, but thank you. Like how much blue flies we can get going here. We do have PhD, another I'm drowsy. Lovely. Um, I don't know, is I'm drowsy better or chariot? I think probably I'm drowsy, right? There's certain bosses that this will just like shit on for us. I can hold on to it for a little while. Lovely stuff. Item room, what are you gonna give us? Yeah. Oh, so that's another I'm drowsy. Okay, we got two of them now. This sucker thing with the, the poison flies is goddamn great. It's goddamn amazing. Secret room in here. That's not really what we're looking for right now. Only tool is whatever. I think it just... Multi-tools just for, like, using keys without having keys, but I have enough keys, so it's fine. That's that bomb. We've seen item room. We haven't seen shop this floor, but I'm going to do the boss right now anyways. Honestly, I've got a second I'm drowsy, so let's just pop this one. At uh, what? Ah. Uh, I told you there was a there's a card in there 
that has a chance to hurt us and it just procced. I knew that was going to be a problem for us. Oh, we got golden sulfur. That's pretty good, but honestly, this is this is just better for us right now. But golden sulfur is pretty interesting. Kind of forgot about golden items. Right, let's go back in to try and survive. Yeah, unfortunately, um, I got immolate, which has is a card that has a 50% chance to deal damage to you or give you an item, and we got unlucky. So we're 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 in we're in the risky territory right now. Once again, which I'm not happy about, because at the minute if I get immolate again, I'm fucked. I'll have to uh, I'll have to speak to um, not strength there. I'll have to speak to the developer of uh, the the booster box mod. That uh, there's a few modded cards that might need uh, taking out of the rotation, as it were. Do not like this as a room here. Good. No battery charge for sale, how dare you. Right, I think I'm going to try something a little sketchy here. Okay, wait. I opened that up literally just so I can beat the room to get more charges. Oh shit, there's three of them. One of them was behind the uh, machine. See, look, that, that got us our, uh, our charge back. We're back up to uh, Divine Remnants, although it's max level now, which I kind of didn't want. Expansion pack could be kind of useful, but I don't want randomness, really. I think the unknown is, is pretty scary when I'm playing a character like this. Oh, really? It turned my fucking goddamn, uh, my, my drowsy pill into a fucking water bottle. <laughs> right, we, we go, we go. Okay. Yeah, so booster, booster box is definitely, like, our, our biggest point of risk right now. It's clearly causing us some issues. Pentagram. Ooh, that Pentagram resprite looks amazing, man. Amazing. I was, we also got Leviathan out of that too, which doesn't actually matter for us, I don't think, but... Oh, you spawned fire ones as well. That's very risky for us. We got through that nice and easy though. Okay, it's credit card. Buying a different item with a chance to cost no hearts has less of a chance to activate on items with a bigger price. Okay, that's not very good for us, unfortunately. I guess I could re-roll it, but at this point, it's a bit risky. Do you know what? It's worth it. I'm going to re-roll it. We got a guppy item. It's pretty good stuff. It's sketchy. Puts us in a bad spot, but especially a bad spot when we get an enemy like this that can telefrag us. Luckily, he did not. We just got to play incredibly well for a little while here. Not actually that long, to be honest. Um, Stonies and Grimaces target hostile enemies. Good, but definitely not as good as what we've got going on right now. Come on, fella. Do us a favor. Battery bum, maybe? No battery bump. Yeah, I definitely need to fix these guys being all glitchy. Bag of Bobbies. Bag of Bobbies is pretty good because it gives us some protection. We shouldn't have used that key there. That was a really far off bomb there, I think. This one again? Give me the pills, give me the pills, give me the pills. Puberty. Puberty. Range up. Range. Not bad. <laughs> Another card that's very, very risky for us. Yeah, I, th I think the reason that's glitching out is because um, I installed animated beggars. 
and uh like I, I I have animated beggars in my pack and they probably already had it in their pack in some way and it's it's clashing. We got our divine remnants back. We are back into safety. And we are one guppy item off. The sun? No, that's nice. I like that. Don't don't go fucking flying around the room, man. Ooh, this this looks fucking gross. Please tell me the room just ends once these guys are gone. No, it doesn't. Of course it doesn't. Why I gotta deal with these enemies? They're so annoying, man. Um, that's not very good for us either. But this, I'm, I'm not, I'm not risking it right now. I'm just gonna take it. Not risking it. Not this late into the game. Before my boss and stuff. Humbling bundle. We've also got a book here. Some two to four random locusts. That's kind of good. But I think uh, humbling bundle is probably better. Tears up. Very nice. That gets us past the cap. What have I done? Okay, luckily I managed to make it out of that. Temperance, another one that's pretty risky. A lot of cards here are, are, are very, uh, very bad for us. Oh, you created a spiked rock there. Be aware of the rocks that she has created. We'll grab that, shall we? I guess I could take a peek in here. If there's anything crazy. Uh, zip bomb, sinus infection. Oh, sinus infection is so good. It's very, very, very risky. But sinus infection is so very good that I'm going to just do it. I think my setup is good enough to make this work. Most of the bosses we're going to kill instantly. Just got to be careful of those pot fires there in the, on the sides. Yeah, science infection is so very lovely. I got to cop that. You do brimstone, so you got to go quickly as well. Okay, luckily we killed him right before he did anything. Cage. Ooh, very nice resprite of cage there. So another cool thing about this, we get to see a bunch of the uh, the resprites we're using. Oh, thanks, worship. Worship card just took away my uh, my holy mantle again. The good thing is, if we don't actually get hit here, we can get it back pretty quick. So we get two uh, charges per wave. But. Not very happy with worship keep keeping doing that. It's, it's very, very not good. Good job we got the off-screen indicator to so know where this guy's going. Honestly, the cards are just the biggest risk to us right now. Ooh, I did almost get hit there, though. What are you doing now, good fella? Good. One more wave. Okay, we got, we got it back. We got it back. Ooh, this guy's only got one wing this time. Is that on purpose? I think it is. Somewhat interesting though. Okay, <laughs> he just got stuck between there. We should only be like two or three waves off of done now, I think. Oh, we do get one of the annoying thingy bosses though. He needs to die as quickly as possible because he's got some really horrible things he can do. Oh, luckily we got him. 
Reap Creep here. Again, Reap Creep should be really easily taken care of. Just careful of his goddamn explosions. Not explosions, brimstones. You know what I meant. You knew what I meant. Can you fucking stop, dude? Chill out! There you go. Again, these guys have brimstones too, so... Yeah, another one that's a little tricky. Whoa! That's kind of new to me. You're on rage mode now. Okay, one more wave, I think. Maybe two. What am I dealing with here? Okay, you're not too bad. Is that it? Are we good? You are not good. But you are dead as well. Come on, that's got to be the last wave, right? That it is. That it is. We got ourselves a little monster. Not exactly anything too precious, but hey, her. Okay. Happy we managed to do boss rush there. That was pretty risky. I mean, especially with that fucking random Immolate. My god. Immolate, why you gotta be like this? Why you gotta exist? There's so many cards. So many cards to choose from. And it's like, yeah, here's the one that hurts you. <laughs> Twice. Stars card there. Actually, didn't teleport us any far further away, really. Just makes us redo this room again. I know your games, fella. Just spew out your maggot and bugger off. Yeah, having a very good time of killing stuff at the moment. Here's our boss, probably good old we know him, what's his name, uh, Mr. Fred. Don't get too close now, Mr. Fred. That would be kind of gross. A little bit of HP, wow. Ooh, new beggar type, candy beggar. Um, requires hearts. Okay, no. <laughs> Not ideal here. Not ideal. Oh! <laughs> ah! Wait, are you just mine now? Okay, good. He's dead. <laughs> oh my god. I thought he just gave me a fucking max level blood puppy and that was it. That was kind of horrible. Cool. So I have a, a, a string of bobbies here can be pretty useful for just blocking shots, as I said. Secret room. Cold. That, that's that's one that you can use more often. The cold is is a good one. Dan two. We don't have any keys right now either. It's a bit of a shame. Oh my god, thank god those walls were there. Right, this is all a guessing game on which way to go. Tower, another one that we don't really want to see. Luckily, we got through that fine. Still no keys about. There's a key, lovely. Okay, here's our boss. Black hearts, unfortunately, not really what we need. Okay, just use our bobbies to block shots here. Create a wall with our bobbies. They will die pretty quickly, but so will the heart. Uh, the heart. Lovely stuff. Up we go. With one key, unfortunately, but it's not terrible. Yeah. A very good spot for killing. World is very, very nice here. 
another key. Very good. The mini boss is just below, but we don't want to take that on, I don't think. That is a health up, unfortunately, a pill that doesn't do anything for us. Good. Okay. Boss time. Boss time it is. I like where the bugger tears look. They've been resprited as well, I think. Again, try and use the Brother Bobbies, but there's not many of them this time, so we're not really, really able to use them super effectively. Should be able to get her in two phases here. I say her, I don't know why I said her, it's just Isaac. Either way. Right. We're on the last floor, baby. Last floor. 120 volt. Lard. Lard would just be a speed down, so not exactly what we're looking for, really. Oh, my... Booster box. Spawned a fucking temperance machine. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> it's so annoying as well that temperance doesn't just remove your holy mantle, it just kills you. Booster box is, uh, is, is an item that's pretty, pretty difficult to work around when you're playing as any form of the loss. But that was, yeah, we, we, we played well. I hope you guys enjoyed either way. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.